Hi guys, welcome to my channel Audio Visual Music and Entertainment. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect speakers in parallel mode. So basically, if you want to connect two speakers to one channel, uh, and in total you want to connect four speakers to an amplifier, how you can achieve that. Alright, so without any further ado, let's just jump into the video. Okay guys, uh, so first thing what you're going to need is, you're going to need basically uh, four set of speakers. So like let's say uh, one speaker is 8 ohms and the other speaker is 8 ohms. So if we are going to use this side of speakers as right hand side and we connect it to the channel 1 on the amplifier and that side or that set of the speakers uh, we connect it to channel 2 and utilize it as left channel on the amplifier. So how we would proceed connecting the wires to the speakers and the amplifier in the correct way, also taking into account when we connect two speakers in parallel mode, uh, then the resistance, the ohms, it drops and it should be supported by the amplifier. Okay, so let's just uh, go ahead first with the wiring. So basically what you do is you can, you take a speaker, like let's say this speaker is eight ohms, uh, and it produces like about, uh, for example, 50 watts. Uh, so what you do is you connect the negative wire to the negative terminal and positive wire to the positive terminal. And same you do with this speaker, negative to the negative and positive to the positive. And uh, with the second set of speaker, uh, you do the same, negative cable goes to the negative terminal, positive cable goes to the positive and same applies to the other channel of the speaker. So this is one set of speaker driven by one channel on the amplifier and this is another set of speakers driven by the second channel on the amplifier. Now when you connect uh, the speakers in parallel mode, obviously the resistance drops. So if this is rated at 8 ohms and this is rated at 8 ohms, then the formula is we divide 8 by 2. So these speakers, if they are connected together via wiring, then it becomes 4 ohms and same applies to that. So we have connected the wires individually here to these set of speakers and individually here to these set of speakers here. Now when you go to channel 1, so like let's say channel 1 is driving the right hand side of the speakers. So once we are going to connect the wiring, so the negative terminal, negative wire from this speaker and negative wire from this speaker goes to the negative terminal on channel 1 and the positive wire from this speaker and positive wire from this speaker goes to the positive terminal on channel 1. So that is one set of speakers connected to channel 1 and same applies to the second set of speakers. So the negative cable goes to the channel number 2 negative terminal on the amplifier and the negative cable from this speaker goes to the negative terminal on the second channel and negative terminal from this one goes to the negative and vice versa. Like positive from this speaker goes to the positive terminal on second channel, positive terminal from this speaker goes to the positive on second channel, negative goes to the second channel negative and the negative wire from this speaker goes to the negative wire on the second speaker. And now, obviously, I am using uh, Crown XLS202. So it does support 4 ohms resistance per channel. So as I said, if both speakers, they are 8 ohms, uh, then we divide it by 2 and then the uh, resistance is dropped to 4 ohms. And uh, at 4 ohms, this channel supports around 300 watts per channel. So this is more than sufficient to drive these set of speakers in parallel mode per channel. All right, so let's just test it. So I'm going to play some music which I recorded in Spain. Uh, a guitarist was playing, a street guitarist 
was playing uh, some guitar, so I'm just gonna play that just to demonstrate how they sound. So, all right, so let's just jump into it. So there you go, I'm just gonna play it now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna face the speakers, or it doesn't matter. You can hear, the microphone is this side, so you can hear it. So this is basically my right channel and this is my left channel. So guys, basically this is my right channel and this is my left channel. Right channel, I'm driving via channel number two on the amplifier, so I'm just gonna crank it so you guys can hear it. So now the left channel, the left set of speakers, it's not working. And uh, now I'm gonna crank the left side of the channel. And now what I'll do is uh, I'll put both channels on so you guys can hear the continuous uh, sound produced by these speakers and this amplifier. By the way guys, uh, if you have any questions uh, related to how to match the ohms with the wattage of the amplifier and the speakers, in the past I have created a video and uh, in the description below I would put the link of that video or like I would put it in like a tag in the video. So do watch it, do it properly, don't burn your speakers, always calculate. Uh, how you configuring your sound. Once you configure your sound properly, you're gonna produce beautiful sound and you're gonna take care of your equipment. Okay, so just gonna crank the music again. Uh, so this is the simplest uh, method if you want to connect uh, a set of speakers to one channel on the amplifier as in parallel mode. Uh, if you guys have any question, do not hesitate to ask me or do the discussion, discussion in the description below and uh, uh, next video what I'll do is I'll try to connect multiple speakers uh, with a crossover, uh, which I have done in the past as well. And uh, as I said, again, I'll uh, leave that video in the description below and tag it as well so you guys can have a look at it. And uh, uh, I will also create a video. Tell me if you guys want to see how to connect the speakers in series. Uh, or serial mode. Uh, so this is parallel mode. Uh, there is another thing called serial or series mode. So if you guys want me to make a video on that, just let me know and I'll make it happen once the resources and equipment allows and obviously the time allows. 
all right guys hope you have enjoyed this short video if you have please uh, like the video share the video and subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so you get the notification whenever i create or uh, produce a new video all right till then ciao take care have fun bye bye